So how many times have you wanted to freak somebody out on their computer? Or you want to send a virus? Well, this is not really a virus. Do not create a virus because you could end up in jail if they caught you. But this is just a program that will um, freak somebody out. It's not necessarily a virus. It can be stopped and it's very easy to stop. This program will shut down your computer without you being able to cancel it. So once you click the icon or you run the program, it will shut down by itself. Here's how to create the program. Right click on your desktop windows, then go to new and click shortcut. A widget will pop up and in the white box, do not click browse. Type in the following as I say. Shut down space dash r space dash f space dash t space 120 space dash c space quotation mark high close quotation we have just created our application so I'm going to go through this and let you know what each element means the first element is shut down it's basically saying the computer this program is about sh shutting down your computer Dash R will reset your computer after it's shut down. So it will restart. If you delete the dash R, it will not restart. It will just shut down. So that might freak the person out even more. Dash F will force every program to quit if you, if you don't save. So you would you need to save your data before quitting or before shut before the computer computer shuts down. And then dash T will tell you how long you have left until the computer shuts down. In this case, I have told the computer to shut down in 120 seconds. You can change this number to any second. You can change it to 1000. This will freak the person out even more because they don't know what to do. They cannot cancel and the computer will shut down. You can, you can add any number any time. And then dash C will be your message or your comment. Here we have hi in quotation. You can uh, you can change this to any message you want to. Just make sure it's dash C space quotation mark your message then close quotation mark. You will need to put it in the quotation mark. Then click next. You'll be asked to type the name for this shortcut. You can type any name if you want it to be really good and somebody will actually download it. You want some applications name, some popular application. In this case, we're going to call it Google Talk. We're going to call it Google Talk 1.0. So people would think this is Google Talk 1.0 and they will download it because Google Talk is currently in beta. Then click finish. So the, a the application is here. To make it look more realistic right click and choose properties. Make sure you're on the shortcut tab then click change icon. If you receive a message like this, ignore it, just press OK. Y you have a wide variety of options to choose as an icon. Scroll through and choose the best icon. It would be good if you name your program something like Internet Explorer. So you can choose the Internet Explorer icon from here. In this case, I am just going to use the file like icon. Then, after you chose your icon, click apply and OK. We have finished building our, our application. It's time to test it out. Double click on your shortcut. You'll see 
a message telling you that the computer will shut down, you will see also your message on the bottom where it says message and then hi. There is a timer telling you how much time you have left before the computer has will shut down. So this was how to how to shut down your computer. Now you can use anything you want to or any applications. This will be a good way for for you to protect your computer in case somebody else is using it and you want to have a timer on it. If you want to know how to stop this program, since there is no way to exit out and um, you cannot use the control alt and delete to exit out, you can comment me on the YouTube video and ask me or you can email me stock.tech at yahoo.com or you can go to my website and I, I might put information there too. All, all the comments and all the um, things that were wrote in this video will be written in clear instruction in the, in the description of this video. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.